the force of faith. Matthew chapter 9, verse 20 to 22. I read, And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. It is one thing for you to accept that what you do not see exists. It's another thing for you to agree with the reality of, of those things. So faith is believed with a strong conviction. That belief that has a strong conviction is what you call faith. Firm belief in something or someone that may not even have a tangible proof. When you have a firm belief in something that by, by problem might not be proven to you, then you're talking about faith. Is a complete trust in, is confidence in, is reliance on, and devotion to something or someone. When you have complete trust in something or someone, you say you have faith in that person, or you have faith in that thing. It's not just the, the verbal statement we make about the things we perceive, it's about the reality the conviction of the reality of the word of God in our hearts. Two basic realms. We have the realm of the spiritual and then we have the realm of the physical. Or you have the realm of the supernatural and you have the realm of the natural. Or you have the realm of the visible and then you have the realm of the invisible. The bridge that links these two realms is faith. Without faith, we can't transact across the realms it takes faith for a natural man to transact in the supernatural realm because the supernatural realm is not what your human senses can relate with so you need faith you need the kind of conviction of the reality of the things you do not see for you to be able to relate with the realm of the unseen. So faith is the password that grants us access to the worlds that we cannot see. And faith is the only legal tender for transacting in the realm of the spiritual. Just as you have currencies that you spend in the realm of the natural, what we spend in the realm of the supernatural is faith. That's why Jesus will say to us that whenever you stand to pray, whatsoever thing you desire, when you pray, believe. He says you already have them. So you must have a conviction, a deep conviction of the word of God for you to say you are exercising faith. Faith is not all about God doing the work. Faith also places a responsibility on us to support the word of God to work in our lives. Hope can never be fulfilled without faith. Faith is what quickens hope to reality. Everything about our work with God, everything about it, everything about our salvation is hung on faith. Everything about it. So you can't live without faith. Situations may make us to doubt the reality of God. But that portion of the scripture says, anyone who comes to God is real and that he rewards those who truly want to find him. It is not everybody that comes seeking that truly want to find God. Every time we act against faith, we displease God. 